Welcome to the world of arts, audio video technology, and communications. Your heroic journey begins with choosing one of the two roads to explore, digital communications or graphic design multimedia arts. Let's explore digital communications. The pathway of digital communications is made up of four levels. The first level focuses on the principles of art, audio video technology, and communications, as well as professional communications. The next level, level two, is made up of audio video production labs and digital audio technology exploration. The third level is more audio video production lab work and further explorations into digital audio technology. The final level is a practicum, and that is a independent study in audio video production, digital audio, and entrepreneurship. The second pathway is in graphic design and multimedia arts. Here, you'll find similar levels as you did with the first pathway, but here we'll be focusing on the principles of art, audio video technology, and communications. We'll also be exploring video game design and digital media. The second level of this pathway will be further exploration into graphic design and illustration, animation, video game programming, commercial photography, and fashion design. The next level will be lab work that focuses on graphic design and illustration, animation, and game programming. The final level is once again a practicum or independent study in graphic design, illustration, animation, as well as computer programming, video game design, and entrepreneurship. But I want to let you guys know that while you're attending high school, you can go further than just being in high school. You can get certifications while attending high school. Imagine getting a certification in Adobe Creative Cloud. This will allow you to get a certification in areas such as animation, interactive technology, video graphics, special effects, graphic design, and graphic and interactive media design. These pathways will allow you to explore work-based learning and other expanded learning opportunities. For example, you might join an after-school club that will focus on website development or coding. Or perhaps you'll be involved in an internship program that brings you a real-world understanding of animation or multimedia or a program that allows you to get certification in graphic design. So let me give you some information on the courses that I teach. I teach digital media, video game design, and advanced video game design. So let's explore digital media. In this class, you'll be analyzing and assessing some of the emerging technologies that are out there. And you'll be working with real world customers that have real world problems that you want to solve. You'll also be implementing and developing your own personal skills that's going to prepare you for the workplace of 2021. And you'll also be enhancing and developing your reading and writing and communications and computing skills. That's going to prepare you for the IT environment. I also teach video game design and programming. So let's explore video game design. Here's a team of students. These guys got together and they learned gaming, computerized gaming, the evolution of games. They also explored the artistic aspects of perspective design and animation. These guys made a real world game and developed technical proficiencies that allowed them to 
demonstrate their game design skills. This is a real world team of real world high school students that went on to become successful digital citizens. And that's ultimately what we want to have you students graduate with. So I also teach video game programming. These game programs allow you to work with real world companies that are in our backyard. This includes companies like IBM and Dell. These classes combine computer science and video game design. So this way we're exploring the world of STEM and STEAM. We want to appeal to young women and get them involved with the worlds of computer science, STEM, and game design. It all blends together. We're integrating artificial intelligence and chatbots into the games that we design. And these games focus on solving real world problems. Here's an example of a student working on a game that addressed the debris that's floating out there in space. He's putting together a chat bot, which allows him to explore artificial intelligence. Here's a student that's developing his Photoshop skills while he works on a debris in space game. Here's another example of a student developing uh, a 3D model of a spaceship. Here's a team of students that's collaborating with another group of students, I think in Florida where they're developing their professional skills. These are mentors that are wanting to work with my students. You could be doing something similar. Here's another student that's putting together her world in Minecraft, which is going to be connected to the computer science world of artificial intelligence. We, here we have a student working on an interactive game that also involves artificial intelligence. Here we have another young student developing her 3D skills and world development skills. Here we have a student exploring virtual reality. So I wanted to let you all know that your interests that you're developing in this classroom go beyond just this classroom. Your interests connect to Austin Community College and their game design program. The University of Texas has a Center for Integrated Design. They explore game design and interactive activities that are STEM-based. There's also the Epic Center that focuses on computer science at UT. So your interests don't just end here in high school. They start here and go beyond. I hope you all consider enrolling into my program. I look forward to meeting you soon.